My channel focuses on uncovering and explaining criminal cases in East Asian countries, particularly in China. In the previous video, we mentioned the arrest of a man named Li Lei. However, during police questioning, when Li Lei discussed the brutally extreme case of matricide, his expression remained indifferent. It was as if he were narrating an incident that happened in someone else's home, with a relaxed demeanor that even gave a sense of releasing a heavy burden. What had this man experienced? In the interrogation room, after calmly finishing a cigarette, Li Lei finally revealed the truth. It turns out that Li Lei had harbored thoughts of murder since childhood. Despite coming from a decent family, Li Lei felt that his family was too restrictive, constantly meddling in everything, leaving him with no freedom and lacking the joy of living like his peers. He believed that the so-called care from his family was not genuine concern for him but rather concern for their own image and reputation. In his childhood, Li Lei wanted to adopt a stray dog, but his family scolded him, even kicking him and forcing him to throw the dog away. Being beaten was a common occurrence for Li Lei, and sometimes, out of fear of being beaten, he would not dare to go home and instead spend the night hiding in a pile of firewood. At that time, he wasn't seen as a problematic youth, with average academic performance and occasional mischief. However, Li Lei's family always compared him to others, thinking that the more he was disciplined, the more successful he would become. Unfortunately, the outcome was the opposite. He didn't graduate from junior high, dropped out of school, wanting to prove his abilities to his parents and break free from their constraints. So, after his parents were asleep, he ran away from home and found work in a nearby town. In about a year, Li Lei, who came from a rural background, earned a monthly salary of over 3,000 which was considered quite high at that time. He thought that this time returning home would finally allow him to showcase himself. However, to his surprise, his parents' attitude towards him became even stricter, as if his entire life were being controlled by them. They insisted on having another child, scolding and even forcing him to have one, even though the second child policy had not been implemented yet. Li Lei resented his parents for this. As for why he killed his wife, it was also due to the restriction of his freedom. Initially, during the early days of their relationship, everything was good, and their business, started with friends, was growing. However, after getting married, things took a turn for the worse. Mutual suspicions arose, and his wife even colluded with her parents to control him, whether it was for money or setting rules for when he should come home. Constant arguments made Li Lei feel that this marriage was truly meaningless. Killing his sister was because she kept bothering him about his reports. It is not difficult to see that Li Lei has long harbored grievances against his family. Despite his introverted nature, he is unable to resolve the family conflicts, and the inner suppression eventually led him to choose an extreme way to vent. All of this finally erupted on a day in November 2009. Let's start from the wedding on the 23rd before the family tragedy. In November 2009, Li Lei felt frustrated and wanted to go out to relax, so he bought a train ticket to Shenzhen for the 20th. Li Lei said that if things went well that day, maybe he could go out for a walk and come back with no troubles. However, on that day, Li Lei's father insisted on going to a relative's wedding and asked Li Lei to drive them there. Now, not only did Li Lei fail to go to Shenzhen, but he was also publicly criticized by his father at the wedding. Li Lei couldn't say anything and could only silently endure it. At the relative's wedding, Li Lei's father, Old Li, was radiant in front of everyone, reflecting the envy between relatives and friends. Li Lei stood beside his father, hearing someone actually refer to his own family as perfect, and he couldn't help but sneer. But Old Li, full of pride, ignored his son's feelings, as if running errands privately and helping out occasionally could make up for the lack of filial piety. This scene of a father's kindness and a son's filial piety earned old Li a lot of face. That night, Li Lei, who was extremely frustrated, returned to his own restaurant and had dinner with friends. He, who usually didn't like to drink, unconsciously raised his glass because of the frustration of the day. Li Lei usually didn't drink much and generally avoided alcohol 
but today, bitter wine went down his throat unexpectedly, surprising his friends. They quickly asked if he encountered any troubles. Li Lei was about to confide in his troubles under the influence of alcohol when he received a call from his wife, ordering him to come home before 10 p.m. full of grievances, Li Lei put down the glass obediently, listened, and returned home on time. He felt life was particularly unfair. All the money at home was earned by him, so why should he face such restrictions every day, unable to move freely? What time to come home? Upon returning home, Li Lei initially thought everything was calm. Due to the fatigue of the day, he went straight to bed to rest. However, his wife began to blame him for coming home late and demanded money again. It turned out that Li Lei's wife, Wang, was engaged in the Amway business and needed to achieve certain performance goals every month. However, she often couldn't meet the standards and had to spend money to maintain her performance, with most of that money provided by Li Lei. Every month, his wife would ask him for money to meet performance requirements, and reluctantly, Li Lei would always agree. Perhaps because this day had experienced too many unpleasant things, Li Lei became increasingly dissatisfied. In a fit of rage, he ended up killing his wife. This turned Li Lei, already discontented, into an extremely angry person. The money in this household was hard earned by him, yet he couldn't get understanding and approval from his family. After killing his wife, Li Lei felt the air filled with a bloody scent. He became more and more excited, as if opening Pandora's box, with only one goal in mind, destruction. His wife's death did not relieve his anger, instead, it made him hate more with each killing. Seeing his sister's room unlocked, he grabbed a butcher knife and walked in. Eventually, Li Lei's father, Oli, heard his daughter's screams and rushed in, but Li Lei had lost control and killed his own father. The mother witnessed this unbearable scene, but Li Lei didn't stop. People tried to stop him, but he was unstoppable. Li Lei felt his whole body about to paralyze, his head didn't obey. Although the anger in his heart was not yet fully released, he crazily threw the TV sofa onto the bed, doing as he pleased. In just ten short minutes, Li Lei killed his wife, sister, and parents, destroying a once intact family completely. The tragedy of this horrifying slaughter had begun. This brutal massacre raised questions about whether Li Lei committed a crime of passion or premeditated murder. In reality, Li Lei had purchased a single-edged knife at the morning market downstairs several days ago. At that time, he had already started planning, hiding the knife on himself, ready to go home and vent his emotions, even willing to die with them. Now, as he looked at the four bodies piled up in the room, Li Lei did not recall the specific details of the killing. He recalled his childhood when his father had a violent temper, often hanging him on the door curtain, suspended from a tree, and beating him. Due to his strong self-esteem, Li Lei refused to show weakness and dared not even cry out in pain. At the age of 17, he ran away from home, determined not to return. However, just a year later, he came back, faced with his grieving parents, and softened, staying at home. Yet, the good times didn't last. His parents treated him coldly again, not only physically abusing him but also undermining him. Even now, with a monthly income of a hundred thousand, his father still didn't acknowledge him, considering him a failure. Whenever his father scolded him, his mother not only didn't console but also joined in mocking, and his sister, like a troublemaker, sided with the parents, constantly provoking. Li Lei had thought that marriage would bring him his own family and improve family relationships. Indeed, after the birth of his son, he experienced the hardships of being parents, and family relationships slightly improved. However, his wife's promotion to a manager made her domineering, causing distrust within the family. Li Lei had tried to please his family, whether by running a hair salon or a restaurant, even generously helping others to gain a good reputation but he still couldn't gain approval. In their eyes, he was still a complete failure. Lacking recognition and simple praise from his family, Li Lei felt utterly hopeless.